Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to a new episode of Spilling to Tea, and we have a two for one today as we cook, start off bleh, a new series called Aloud. The first episode is Aloud the harassment and gaslighting of the autistic community and social media and what got everything all kicked off and gave me the idea for this series is going to be this little tweet right here which was why we were in my email today this little tweet here got a firestorm started last night so let me go ahead and read it to you from Hood J. It states, the whole actually autistic sheet got big because they're bullies, referring to people like me. Most parents of autistic children got tired of being bullied and caved in. Now, years later, hashtag severe autism is treating like, like something made up and will eventually disappear. SMH. Well, Hood J put up so many straw arguments in a single tweet, I can't even begin to cover all of them today. But just for starters, they're basically insinuating that we are saying that severe autism doesn't exist and that we completely ignore our nonverbal brethren. Nothing could actually be further from the truth. What we in the neurodiverse community keep hammering on is the fact that it is called autism spectrum disorder. We are not marginalizing or in any way saying that their children's difficulties do not exist. We are saying, guess what? We exist too, whether you think we qualify as true autistics or not. We are not bullies. We are simply insinuating that maybe you should reconsider before putting your kids through non-fact-based, non-science-based interventions or interventions that are approved by the medical community that actually causes infinitely more harm than good. But you can't tell these Karens that, oh no, we're the bad guys because we don't want these kids to go through some of the abuse that we went through as children. We want to mention the problems with even some established therapies so that there can be improvements and alternatives found instead of a whole new generation of autistics being traumatized. Oh, but that makes us bullies. Anyways, that's just for starters. It goes downhill from here. Let me go ahead and pull the next one up for you here. This one's from Allison, and she states... A lot of these advocates are taking away opportunities for those individuals or families struggling with severe autism. It's a shame because they are using their ability to speak to gaslight the people who cannot express themselves, the ones who benefit the most from ABA. Again, so many wrong thinking and so many strawman arguments in just a single tweet. Let's start with this argument I've had. Oh my God, since the early 2000s, there is this idea in the ableist martyr parent community that somehow me being diagnosed as autistic and getting services is somehow taking away from their child. Yeah, it is not a logically based argument. They're basically saying, because I am able to speak and communicate, I do not deserve accommodations, services, 
or help because I am not, in their opinion, as severely impacted as their child. Really? Really? What a way to freaking ostracize. Okay, and that's just for starters. Again, they are saying we are gaslighting them. She just gaslighted us, and then she states that we are gaslighting them. We in the JD community know this for what it is. It is projection. The pushing on to others of what you yourself are guilty. And then they go on to mention ABA. Now, in my other videos, we have gone over just exactly what is wrong with ABA. The number one thing being it teaches compliance. It teaches compliance with people touching us, even if we are uncomfortable with it, and even if it causes pain, but it benefits their child. Well, this icon shows a picture of Meg Griffin from Family Guy, so I think it is quite appropriate when I say, shut up, Meg. Let's go on to the other here. Here's one from Serena Joy. She says, I agree. I almost left because of targeted harassment. Okay, you jumped onto our hashtag, Serena, but go off. By people saying they were autistic. It was just trolls. Really? I would not give such draining negativity your time of day. Jay, most parents are doing an amazing job with their amazing children. Okay, so you are basically saying an entire group of people who you do not know, in order to qualify for autistic, have to basically give our private, HIPAA-protected medical diagnostic papers in order to qualify as autistic for you. And we are trolls for telling you that abuse is abuse. That amazing job they're talking about is subjecting their kids to a therapy that can and will traumatize their child. But again, you know, go off. We've got a few more. Hold on just a minute. I'm sorry, folks. It's coming up. This one is one of my favorites. We know our own truth. And when this ridiculous fad is over, we'll still be here. And our kids will still be severely autistic. Probably we'll have to do some big damage control. Okay. Fighting for disability rights, autism rights, and neurodiversity rights is in no way a fad. Me fighting for my right to be able to speak instead of being spoken over by people like you is not a fad. Autistics speaking out against ABA due to the traumatizing events of their childhood is not a fad. This is something many people use in order to silence us. As regards to their damage control, okay, Karen. How is me standing up for my rights causing you or your child any damage? Think on it. Just saying. And the... Mother of them all, folks. This is from Amanda. She states, the actually autistic or neurodiverse mafia scare me. Mafia? Mafia? So, we have graduated from being murder hornets to mafia. Does that mean I'm a real human now, mommy? Mostly because they are all a-holes. And I hope it's not a sign my son will be, too. I'm an a-hole for standing up for my rights, okay? And none of them are severely disabled. Define severely, Karen. Do you have problems going outside your door? 
They think their autism is a superpower or makes them quirky. They don't speak for my son. No autistic ever has called their autism a goddamn superpower or says it just makes me quirky. This is another straw man. That's what you think of us, Karen, not us. That's projection again, folks. That is projection, and I know, again, in the JD community, we are all very, very familiar with it. All autistics, in this hashtag, acknowledge the fact that we have a disability. We even talk very, very openly about some of the more debilitating parts of our disability. It's these folks' existence that we either do not exist, that we are bullies, that we are harmful, that we are a-holes for daring to speak about our experiences when we were their children's age and the damage it caused, thinks that gives them to right to scream at us. This is what we call in the, muni the community the martyr parent syndrome. What martyr parent syndrome is, is basically the insistence, the absolute insistence of these parents that their kids' lives and very existence are tragedies, that their children need to be fixed at all costs, and their insistence that they and only they can be the voice for their poor child, whom we can't understand because we communicate and have social media accounts. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. These martyr parents always, in post after post after post, of their self-patting on the back and self-little pity parties, constantly make it about their struggles, their suffering, what they go through. Forgetting the fact that they're not the one with the damn diagnosis. They want to be the sole voice for their child and in so doing, close out their child's ability to be their own voice as they mature into adulthood, they just insist that their child cannot speak for themselves. Well, the fact of the matter is there are many communication styles. And just because a child may be communicating in a way that they don't, that you, the parent, do not understand, does not mean that they are not communicating and that they don't have the ability. It's on you, Karen. It is on you for refusing to learn their method of communication and instead shoving your version down their throats and forcing them to rise to your level instead of even being willing to meet them halfway. And folks, this sort of behavior is allowed throughout all social media. One of the most famous cases in regards to those who have jumped on a hashtag that was not even made for them is a woman by the name of Connie. Connie jumped on last year, back in oh, February, April, onto the actually autistic hashtag. And she started basically gaslighting every single last one of us, questioning us, asking us what our intentions are. Yeah, it was just straw man after straw man after straw man. So, after a year of basically leaving us alone, Connie has made a recent comeback. So, I am going to pull up the tweet here, if I can find it. Let me see if I can't do it this way. Uh, 
Okay. Bear with me here, folks. Let me get on my screen. Got to get to my retweets. Again, we don't have an edit button. I apologize. I retweeted a lot. All right. This is from Internet, and she's still claiming to be bullied after coming on to our hashtag and starting a whole bunch of crap last year. Let me see if I can actually pull her up. I might not be able to. And yeah, a lot of times these martyr parents will always do the appeal to authority. My doctor says. So your doctor who's not an autistic experiences are more valid than the person who actually is put through ABA. <sighs> ah, here we are. That's what we were looking for. Let's meet Connie. Oh, that's Neuro Rebel. Sorry, she's good people. But you are kind of getting a general idea of what I'm talking about, right? From what I've been showing you here, you're getting the idea. We are bullied on every single social media platform. We are gaslighted on every single social media platform. And these platforms do absolutely nothing, even when we report these folks about it. We are a quote-unquote, according to the woke credo, a marginalized minority. Yet, Unlike the other marginalized minorities that they talk about, the disability community and the neurodiverse community and the autism communities basically do not have anyone, anyone on these platforms with any power that sticks up for us. No, we are the ones considered the harassers. We're the ones who lose our accounts. We're the ones who get suspended when we say anything about it. They say that we are trolling them when they jump on our threads when we are talking about our experiences with certain therapies or talking about our experiences even in general. In general. We're not even allowed to have or state an opinion. Uh, an opinion. So... Folks, especially in the JD community, this level of gaslighting and double standards is unfortunately nothing new. It doesn't even really matter to these folks unless you are a famous one thing or another. And then, of course, if as long as you have the right certain parts, they'll go ahead and they'll fight for you. If you are just a regular autistic who is just simply fighting for your rights, on the other hand, or a simple neurodiverse advocate fighting for your rights, a disability rights advocate fighting for your rights, well then, this level of gaslighting and harassment is allowed. So what do we do about this? Exactly what I just did in this video. Take the screenshots expose this type of behavior and tag these platforms and keep doing it and keep doing it in large numbers so that they can start to see the point go to just continue to expose and when you're done exposing ghost and block these abusive assholes 
who think it's okay to gaslight an entire marginalized group of people who just want equal rights. All right, folks, I did say I had a twofer for you today, but that closes out this video. Now, as you notice with my channel, my home screen is still empty. So, if you would like to share these videos or see the other videos we have covering similar topics like this, as well as others, please hit the video tab on my channel. And to share those videos, please click on the videos themselves, hit share the link, and then post it on any of your social media that you would like. We would certainly appreciate the help. And folks, we don't get that many views on this channel. The few views that we do get do tend to get removed by YouTube. So don't forget, folks, please hit that like button, hit subscribe, and don't forget to hit the comments. I do appreciate your time, and until the next vid, folks, we here at Smelling Tea hope you have a good one. Bye-bye.